Test one, two. Test one, two. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Alright, the meter's moving. Hmm. Hey! Hello, hello! Alright. Meter is moving. Meter is moving, yes. Alright, so we're going to go back to this. And let's see if we can't make a screw. Let's make another 17. Let's see what it does. Hello, Bella. Bella, how come you're not in bed yet? It's late. Bella, 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 Bella. Oh, wrong size. Oh, wrong hole. Wrong size. All right, here we go. This might. St Still be. I should be right. Hey, Dad. Get the start of a thread. We're making tiny screws. It's not really exciting TV. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. And turn this down a little bit more. Turn it down a little bit tighter.
the last one was at 16, but I'd taken too much meat off, so clean it up. I'm gonna try the 15 hole. I've already got, I don't know, the audio doesn't wasn't working to begin with. Um, so my first one was a very small, actually I want to switch screens here. My first one was a very small hole, um, the number seven, and that one failed the number eight. Um, my second one actually broke in the number seven hole, and so then I tried a number eight hole um, with a broken screw. Uh, if it's a non-hardened screw, which these aren't hardened yet, um, you can use a jeweler saw to cut them out. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a jeweler saw whose um, kerf is narrow enough to get into that little slot. So uh, I figured until I do that, I will oh, I just practice, 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 practice. So. All right, let's try this. What did I number that say? Is it 16? Something keeps fogging up my. So something, I mean me, keeps fogging up the um, the loop. It's rather annoying. All right, where did I leave off? Oop, close it down. Alright, so that's already that's threaded all the way to the head. Um, but the thread's not that deep, I don't think. Uh, it's just not that good. It's there. It's not that good. I think it needs to be a, let's try a 14. Nope. Nope, nope. Well, wait a second. I'm going to send this to a 14. Let's get a little bit of oil on here. Um, any buffering at all? Any buffering issues or um, anything I should be aware of? I, I think it's streaming okay. But after the umpteenth time, whoa, I just bumped the camera. Careful. This one might actually turn out okay. Shouldn't really jinx it, I guess.
I think there's a tiny little double thread in there from the other cut. Let me go with a much stronger loop. Yeah. Here, let me, let me zoom this one in. Is there a delay? So there's a double cut in that thread. Well, I'm going to zoom in. It's weird. I'm still getting a, I'm getting a green, all green from YouTube. to show something. Alright, so it's not really a good thread as you can see. Um, but uh, that's okay. No, we're going to be perfect. Let's uh, let's try again. Try a little. Try a little angle. Let's see if we can't force this thing into a nice comfortable. Here we go. Oh. 
Huh. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Appears to be. I am actually quite pleased with that thread for a uh, for an initial cut. That's actually. Actually, looks pretty nice. Let's uh, clean this up a little bit. Yeah, I think the taper really, really guided it in. Um, clean up this blemish. What you couldn't see was as as this was going through, the swarf was getting built up on the other side. And it was getting pressed against the screw head. Well, I don't know what these cameras are. I don't know if you can see this or not. But there's a bunch of swarf on this other side. Um, that was getting pushed out from the thread cutting. But, uh... I kind of like that. Clean that up a little bit. Well, I think that kind of looks like a screw. Uh. Little spot of rotico. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that actually kind of looks like a screw. Well, um, it's work softened. <laughs> it was actually a pivot off of a clock. Um, it was a, it was actually a pinion. Um, that I pulled off of an old clock, just like an old, um, uh, just like an old alarm clock. It was just a piece of steel, and just been working it. You know, I think I just annealed it by by working it. I don't know if it, you can anneal it or work harden. I'm not sure. Um, either way, it must have been a really cheap clock because it was not very hard. I was looking to uh, harden these, um, you know, with quenching, but uh, I am surprised at how soft the metal is. I thought it would be tougher than from what, what it came out of. Um, if any of that made sense. But I think I have a screw. I think I've made it. Well, I didn't make a full screw. Because now i got to do the cutoff. I don't have a cutoff tool. This is going to be kind of interesting how I do this. But I think um, I think we can have some fun. I think let's just, uh, let's just cut this baby out. So let's bring this. Like, yeah. What if I swap the images? Alright, let's swap the images. Um, order. Uh, 
Order. Guess I shouldn't have moved it. How's that? Saw blade. Um, actually, I wonder Hang on, you might be onto something. Let me hear something. Hang on. Actually, what just fell is a bunch of bur burnishers um, or uh, engravers. But first, let me. This is a cousin to what um, insert corner. Let touch the pulley like that. This is a cousin to what's in the uh, collet right now. Um, so yeah, it's just a clock pinion. Um, and then I've got these. And these are just, you know, they're, they're engravers. Uh, hand push engravers. But, uh, <laughs> I bet you I could use this as a cutoff saw, as a cutoff tool. I wonder. Should we try it? Let's see if this works. Whoop, 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 whoop. Number one rule and cut off is always use oil. You like oil. And then the oil spits everywhere. All right. Of course, this isn't sharpened, <laughs> but we're gonna shot. We're gonna get a shot. Oh, shoot! Going up against the collet. needs to get touched up. Oh. I'm be a smart monkey about this one. Magnet.
Boom. Oh, I think it needs some sharpening. But. Dun, 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 dun. One screw. All right, so let's clean this up. Uh, first thing, let's get this thing on some rotico. Nice cleanup job. That's a lot of light. I got a lot of light coming down on this thing. I wonder if I got too much light. Right, set that down there. Um, all right. Now, this lathe is, and I'm going to mispronounce it, conoidal. conoidal. Now you can see the delicate taper. Um, the other 8mm, and the more common, is uh, this one compare and contrast. Actually, I don't know if these will fit in here or not, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, they do. Well, look at that. Aren't I a smart monkey? I got a lot more of these than I got of the others. God, um, no cup. I had a had a magnet, just in case it came loose. So um, nothing like magnetizing watch parts. I doubt this is going in any watch right now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Touch too bright. Bring it up a little bit. I'm bring the light up. I had the light pretty close. All right, so I have a bag of uh, collets here. Let's uh, see if we can find a nice small collet for too big. Well, not maybe too big. What number is that? A ten. What was that one? Eighteen. Something smaller than a ten. Ooh, eight. I'm gonna luck out. I don't want it so tight that it'll ruin the thread. Yeah, we're gonna be careful about the threads. Um, optimum nine ten nine. Now these are filthy. Um, I just got these in when I went up in Pittsburgh. Went up to the uh, actually Cleveland Clinic for a meeting, and then swung by Pittsburgh to visit friends and family. And lo and behold, Craigslist had a 
at a listing for an 8 millimeter lathe at a really good price with collets. I'm like, what? And the uh, lovely wife was like, well, okay. I'm like, yes! Score! Alright, I'm going to go back to the 10. Um, I think it is one millimeter. Um, I think you're right, Mike. There's the 10. I need to make myself a nice little... Dude. Tiny, tiny pieces everywhere. So that's in. Let's um, let's just put this in and see if we can if it tighten down enough to hold. Oh, there we go. Come on, grab it. Grab, 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 grab. Hey, I think it's in. Look at that! Alright, speaking of young ladies texting me. Oh, okay. Oh, poor baby. She is uh, an HOA meeting, and uh, it is not done yet. It is past 9 o'clock. She's been there. She left the house at... 545 and it is local time it is now almost 10 after 9 it's still going on <sighs> all right let's uh, see if we can turn this down na, 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 na. I wasn't expecting this problem. Oh no! Oh no! Why is it? What's, what's loose about it? What's going on? Shoot. Alright, we're going to try the 9. Small. Let me try the number 10 for this one. Too small. Wow, this is, these are like different numbers. so blown out. Hmm. 
just not going to compress enough. Yeah, I think these uh, counts have seen much better days. Hmm. Shoot. Alright, let's go back to our original. What our original 10 look like. Yeah, super glue arbor, right? I don't want to super glue a uh, collet, though. But you might be the right, you know what? Actually, you might be on the right a uh, right avenue. We've got another way of doing this. Um, paper shim might work, but I think the super glue arbor is actually a pretty ingenious idea. I think. So I got myself a nibbler, but it's not a flush nibbler. I didn't check when I bought it. I'm really disappointed because I wanted a flush nibbler, and this wasn't flush. There's that like little, let me go up to this one, that little tiny indent right at the, right the front there. Of course, I don't know if they make flush nibblers. Well, you're on the right right track, but let's do it this way. Let's make it this way. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, where is it? There's a groove I'm always trying to find. You see the groove right there? Ah. Always trying to find the groove. Right. There it is. Tie it down. Boom. All right. First things first, let's clean this up. can screws or drills whatever these things are called you know what I mean
Oh no! It just flew out of my hand. <laughs> Seriously? Come on. Let's try this again. My fingers. All right. Closer. Boom. All right. It's going to be a little big, but that's what super glue is for. This is my idea. This is my bad idea. There it is, a little uh, drill bit and pin vise. Let's see what we can do with this. What the? Come on. Hello. It's going to all pour out on me. Drop. There we go. in the right direction. Um, yes, the, uh, the heat for uh, both um, Loctite and Crazy Glue. Not bad. Let's uh, let readjust this. You can So, this is going to be really loose. This is going to be like super loose. I'm worried that I did it too big of a bit. But maybe I shouldn't be worried. Now, next question is, where's my super glue? Uh, 
got 16 bottles of super glue down in my office, or down in my wood shop, but nothing up here. Shoot. Oh. Boop. Maybe. Maybe that'll work. Let me see if we get a shot. Give it the old. You know, you're asking about the lathe going too fast. Um, so, one thing, bring this down a little bit. I, I've got different speeds here. The, the problem is, is that my motor is mounted um, to the deck right now. So, if I move, start moving these things down the line to slow it down or speed it up, the um, the cable will go jaunty. So I don't I haven't fixed that problem yet. Um, but uh, yeah. let's uh, let's try a little thread lock. Oh God. <laughs> On the thread lock. <laughs> okay, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Picking up tiny screw. Don't laugh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wait, there it is. Okay, people. Not funny. It might be too loose. It might be asking too much for the Loctite. Might be asking too much for it. Of course, I got that crazy thread sticking off the bottom of it. Well, I tell you, um, let, me, let me just show you how compact of a sound I'm working on. So there's the bench lathe that controls this, um, and it does have, oh no, uh, it's got a little rheostat here, if we're going fast, I'm not going to turn it on because that thing's still drying, get in there, um, so it is not ideal, but it's the deal that I have now, so I'm not going to. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. I think this is asking too much for thread lock. Yeah. There's just there's just too much open space. Um Let's see what I got here. Da, 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 da. Oh, look what I have. Ah. Cut off wheels. We use this for uh, cutting it off. Yeah, no, the center is off um, because it's so loose. Um, I'm quite well aware of that. <laughs> but, uh,. You know what, let's try it. It's just not 
going to be... Texting. Trying to wrap up. Alright. The wife's going to be coming home pretty soon. Um, I don't want to be on here once she comes home. Uh, so... I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it here. Alright. Thank you all, everybody. Um, this was a lot of fun. Uh, mistakes were made. Um, but uh, I think... Uh, all in all, um, I've come up with some interesting, valuable lessons. One, um, this is an interesting cutoff tool, but it needs to be cleaned up tremendously. Um, so I'm going to put that with the rest. Number two, I need to like rework everything on where everything goes, because right now it's a freaking nightmare. I'm going to turn this camera on so you can see what's going on here. Alright. So, up here is the loose, loose stuff that constantly is falling. Um, in here, this is actually kind of organized area cleaning. Um, these are just square drivers. I got dial work, lubrication, metrology in there. Um, batteries, I got way too many batteries. Um, case work, this is actually where the Loctite goes for the crown. Case work, uh, then I got tools, drilling, um, because Done drilling tonight. Put that back in. Put that back in. Graver. Cheap pliers, so this goes basically in a catch all garbage. Um, I'm going to have to invest in some new collets maybe down the line because these are, uh, these are there's, there's some good ones in here. There's, they're, they're fine. They need a lot of cleaning. Um, so we're going to do that. What else did I learn today? Actually, cut a thread with the tombstone. Um, took a couple tries, but I think uh, as we can see with uh, this thing right here, um, it actually works. So, there we go. Oh, go back to the thing. Alright, so, tools, drilling, and then all my sharpening stuff there. Got a large stone right here. So I was doing for my graver. Um, and yeah, and uh, this is the rest of the mess. So, I got more stuff down here. Uh, <laughs> piles of stuff. Uh, Graver, I got a lot of stuff here. I got a lot of stuff there. I got drawers in here. This is a, a lot of polishing stuff. Uh, staking tools. Um, Jeeves. Best thing I can come up with. Uh, tools. And then the rest of these are all uh, movements in here that I'm in various state of disarray and problems. Um, microphone. That's it. In a nutshell. And oh, now there's a whole other desk that I have that I can bring in here and set. And this that's the actual movement table where um, everything's set up for working on the movements. But uh, I'll, I'll cover that at a later date. Um, I don't know. That's for. And then. Here it is, but uh, I'll go into more depth on that in a later date. Um, so. Yeah, there's a screw. Um, I'm actually... Uh, I'm actually kind of pleased with it. I mean, it's... It needs some cleanup, but I mean, for a, for a first time. 
Yeah, the microphone is actually not picking up any right now. This is all coming off the uh, micro the microphone for the uh, webcam. A little disappointed. Couldn't get the snowball to work. But uh, anyway, that's my shop, and that's the stuff that's uh, that I'm doing. And um, we're gonna figure out how to. Oh, slotting. That's another thing I gotta worry about. Is like slotting that screw. Um, I've got some files, but I don't have a slotting file. There is a trick that I learned and I read about in a book, and I wanted to try it on a small one. And that's to take a razor blade with a hammer and snap it over the edge like a number four file. And when it snaps, it takes the profile, the cutting profile of the file, and then you can turn around and file in with the razor blade your uh, your slot. I don't know how well that's going to work. Um, stick around. That's going to be that's going to be interesting. Uh, anyway, look, no, not a lot of buffering, right? A little bit of buffering, maybe. Um, audio, lights not going crazy. I don't think. Um, I think this was a success. All right, Mike. Thank you very much for uh, coming on. Um, thank you very much for putting me on the big screen. And. Uh, Dad, I saw you came in. I don't know if you're still on or not. Um, but uh, hope everybody's doing well up north in the Northland. And uh, you guys are staying warm. And uh, anybody else? All right, thanks. Um, I'll probably be doing one again this week. I might be carrying on with another screw or this screw. Uh, go from there. All right, thanks. Bye. Of course, now that I've started this thing, I don't know how to end it. Um, oh. Stop streaming. There we go. 53 minutes and 28 seconds. Bye. Oh, now it's asking if you really want to end the event. Well, no, that's why I clicked the button. All right. 53 minutes and 30 seconds.